everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily pictures and updates on some of our animals. The links are also in the description down below. So for today's video, I got a new scale off of Amazon and I thought it would be fun to weigh all of our snakes. Now, all of them I don't need to get a weight on. I'm just kind of curious to see how much they weigh, but some of our bigger females and bigger males, I do want to get a weight on to see where they're at and where we might need to uh, get their weight up a little more before breeding season comes here in a few months. All right, so let's open up our new scale. All right, I will leave down in the description below this specific scale that I got off of Amazon. Ooh, ooh look how pretty it is. I got a nice flat one so we can put a bucket on top so we can easily weigh them. All right, let's go try it out. All right, we got our scale and I just got out this little six quart bucket and we're gonna start off with some of our smaller ones. So let's go get a snake. All right, we got our bucket zeroed out and we got our first little itty bitty snake. So we are gonna go ahead and put her in and see how much she weighs. There she is, 70 grams for a little one. All right, this is our feisty little jungle carpet python. She almost got away, she's pretty quick. All right, we already zeroed that out. Look at how much she weighs. She's so tiny. All right, let's go get another one. All right, here's our little black pine snake Bubba. And Bubba is 134 grams. You're still pretty tiny too, Bubba. All right, let's go get out another one. Well, this is kind of an accurate weight. Miss Pepper's kind of being poopy. Come on. All right, there we go. 633 grams and she is out of here. You are such a pain in my butt tops. Yeah, you are. The good ones are always the pains. Where are you going? All right, here's our newest girl, Aspen. Let's put you in there. 598 grams. Uh, I think when he originally told me 998 was a little, uh, a little wrong, don't you think? But that's okay, we love her anyways. All right, let's try another one. All right, here is our boy, Alfred. Woo! He's almost hit a thousand grams. Look how beautiful the snake is. He always hides his head. Here's another one of our fabulous breeders, Rocky. He is kind of in shed. Let's see how much you weigh, dude. Dang! Both of these boys are proven breeders. So they are definitely gonna be good for us this coming season. Here's one of our future breeders, Mr. Thunk. Look at that head stamp. Woo, dude, 700 grams. Technically, if we can find you a girlfriend that's up to weight, we can use you. You are beautiful. Look at all those speckles. Where are you going? Come on. Back in your home. Beautiful snake. Here's another one of our future breeders. Nimbus just shut out. Look at that bright yellow dorsal stripe. Oh, there you are. Hello. He just shut out this morning. Let's get you in here. Look at you, beautiful. Woo! You are definitely up to weight, dude. You're gonna be pairing with some of our big ladies. So beautiful. This is one of our snakes that we got from Power Lines. And here's our main man. We've been looking forward to breeding him since the day we got him. He's in shed, so he's a little dull. Let's see how much you weigh home skillet. See if we can 
gently get you in there. Oh yeah, thousand grams over. You are so beautiful. Can't wait to pair you with some ladies. Here's another beauty from Powerline Reptiles. She's hopefully gonna get a boyfriend pretty soon. Let's see where you're at, honey. 580 grams. Yeah, she still has another year of growing at least. But you're getting there. You're so beautiful. Look at her head. We call her bald because she's got that white head. Here's a beautiful pied girl, possible leopard pied from Andy's Reptiles. She is absolutely gorgeous. Woo, you are growing nicely. Hoping she'll be ready, not this coming up season, but maybe next season. Absolutely beautiful, growing nicely. Another beauty from Power Lines. Hopefully her yellow sides are coming up in the video, but she is a black pastel yellow belly. And she is being shy, she won't bring out her head. <laughs> see how much she weighs. Oh, you gonna bring out your head so we can see you? Ooh, she is definitely growing nicely. She'll definitely be ready in another year. She's hiding. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's our gorgeous Craigslist pickup. She is growing fabulous. This is one of our best eaters. Oh, look at that girl. She may be able to breed next season, which is awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Hello. This is another Craigslist pickup. She is just a regular pie, but still beautiful, but she is not the best eater. She's actually two years old and she's still fairly little. So I'm hoping we can have success with getting her to eat so we can get her up to weight. So let's see how much she weighs. 600 grams, not bad, but she's still got a little ways to go. Body composition is still really good. She's had two sheds with us. But she's been with us for a few months now and still refuses to eat. Whether it's live, frozen, thawed, doesn't matter. Given her hides, she's just not a good eater. And that happens. And she is feisty. Look at her. You gonna strike at me? I'm going to put you back. All right, here's Miss Flicker with a fresh shed. Her head almost looks porcelain right after she sheds. So amazing. Let's see how much you weigh, baby. Oh yeah, you're going to be ready to breed here after a couple more meals. Need to get that up to about 1500. So we got a few more months, so I'm hoping that she'll be there. She is over two years old. She's been through two winters, so she should be ready to go. Another one of our breeding females. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just a clown female. Let's see how much you weigh. Oh yeah, a few more meals in you and you should be ready to go too. She is over two years old as well. And we just got her to start taking meals. She has eaten three weeks in a row, so I'm hoping we can start putting some weight on her to get her up to that 1500 gram mark. All right, well this girl is deep in shed, but I wanted to get a weight on her anyways. She is another breeding female. Oh yeah, look at you. She is definitely breedable weight. Now she has not taken a meal for us, but her body composition is still really good. And this is gonna be her first shed with us. So I'm hoping that she'll start eating pretty soon so we can get some good nutrition in her for breeding season. Absolutely gorgeous snake, even in shed. All right, for some of these next ones, we need a bigger bucket. That ain't gonna work. All right, we got the bigger bucket. So let's get one of our bigger females, actually our biggest female, it's gonna be breeding for us. Well, she's kind of in the bucket, but doesn't kind of want to be in the bucket. <laughs> she's being a giant poo face. Okay, let's move this a little bit. She is 2,642 grams, give or take. That's not exactly the most accurate, but that's what we're gonna take right now. So 
Once she gets eating a little bit better, she's been eating a lot lately, she will be pushing over 3,000 grams here pretty soon. So I'm gonna attempt to weigh our Emerald Tree Boa and she likes to stay on her bamboo stick. So I pulled out one. We are going to attempt to zero this out. I don't know how well this is gonna work. There we go. All right, so now I can pull her out on her bamboo stick and it's zeroed out. All right, well she's sleeping so this shouldn't be too bad. This isn't gonna be a super accurate one, but let's see. Ooh, 1,600 grams for this girl. She is a big female. It's hard to see through the bucket a little bit. I'm trying to get it to focus, but yep, six, just over 1,600 grams. All right, well, here's our blood python Callisto. Now let's see if I can see a weight. She weighs 893 grams. Yeah, that's really small for a blood python. So I'm hoping we'll see a weight increase here in the next month or two. All right, well, that was our entire snake collection. For our blood python, they are typically very heavy bodied snakes. So I was expecting her to weigh a little bit more. We need to definitely put some more weight and size on her and get her healthy for sure. Some of our other non-ball python snakes, they're still babies and they're growing. They eat every week, so I'm not really worried about their weight or their body composition. They're doing great. Now, as far as our ball pythons, weight is important for breeding season. Uh, females, you typically want them to go through two winters and be over 500 grams and eating regularly before you mate them. Um, they have to get ready for egg development and production. So that is very important for your snake's health. Now for the males, you can start breeding at 500 grams, 600 to 700 is better. And you also wanna double check that they're producing sperm plugs. So those are all things that we are keeping track of and looking for before upcoming breeding season. Now we are gonna try to start pairing up. A lot of our males and females probably come October. Um, that's typically when breeding season occurs. That's their natural breeding season. So that is when we're probably gonna start our breeding season. And we couldn't end the video with showing off our little baby Arlo. He's such a curious little fella. Look at him, he's so cute. All right, and we have our other curious dude. He's cute and cuddly too. You gonna help me end the video? Uh-huh. Yeah? Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Say we'll see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and watching us weigh our snakes. It's kind of fun with all the little ones. So stay safe, stay sane, get out there and make your own footprints. Right? Yeah? Yeah? Uh huh. Say yes. Bye. Yes. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Here, you wanna do the hand thing? Ready? <gasps> Boop.